all right welcome guys to this um step-by-step -step guide on how i was able to make this kind of ebook cover now it is true that i've been doing some ebook cover services on fiverr meaning i've been selling covers of course that had to do with a little bit of creativity but this make it a whole lot more easier for me with this template i can do ebooks within just five minutes changing one little text the background images and all of that now I want you to take a look at this video and see how we'll be able to make a little bit of um, um, adjustment to this um, evil cover and customize it to what I want. Now the first thing you're going to do is to open up the template if you have it. At the end of this video, I'll provide my contact and then you'll be able to contact me if you want a template like this. Okay, let's get into it. Now the first thing you need to do is to open up the templates. Right here, I'm using Adobe Photoshop CX6. It doesn't matter which version you, uh, you're making use of any version of the photoshop can do the same thing now if you come to this side of um the the templates or the software itself you notice that you have something like subtitle here um you have about one two three four five five folders here so you have subtitle you have dollars you have author you have title uh, you also have background so these are the things that we're going to be working with we're going to be working with the title we're going to be working with the dollars auto title and then background okay so the first thing we're going to do right now is to click on the first one the subtitle I want to take a look at it and see what it stands for now if you are very familiar with photoshop if i uncheck this eye icon here you will discover that um, whatever is related to it will go off the screen now if i uncheck it right now you discover that the first parts of um, the design here are have gone off um, take a look at it again I, you can see this part of the design and this other part of the design disappears when i uncheck that so that is where the layer is found um do i need to change that maybe not for now i may not be really i may not really be doing anything with that so let's go to the second one which is the dollars now do i want to remove the dollars well let me remove the dollars for now and see how it looks like so what this means is that if you're changing and you're tweaking and you're customizing your ebook cover whatever you're going to be doing to your ebook cover will be affected by whatever you're doing here beside um under the layer template because this is the layer template or the layer section of photoshop so i'm going to leave the uh, dollar stuff unchecked right now so let's go to the author I'm going to be changing this name to my own name right now we have um, ronald ray no uh, i'm going to be changing it to my name of course you're going to change it to the name of the person that um, you are selling to so immediately i check that the next thing i need to do is to come over to the text tool now the text tool is over there you click on the text tool and then you come over to the name now let me say this before I start on if you don't have the font that is being used in the template or the font that comes to the template the font will automatically change to what is available on your system so I'm clicking on the uh, text right now see what it shows me the following fonts are missing for the text run array so that means if I want to make use of the same font that is here I have to download it and then um, thankfully you know Photoshop is telling me that the name of the font is league gothic all right but no problem I can look for a font that will work with this on my system so i'll click on ok now immediately you do that it has changed to this font and i think i'm okay with this font so what i'm going to do right now is to change this to corridi i can select it yeah select i'm going to type corridi on my system k o r e d e okay that's corridi then ray right now i'm going to change it to allowing that's o l a w o y i in now after i've done that you can see that the text is beyond the cover of the book and we don't want that to happen so the first thing i'm going to do is either i do enter type enter on my keyboard or i come here to this um check to so once you click on it it will ask you that um do you want this to be done okay it's not even asking me right now the thing immediately applies so that means the changes i've made have been applied so i will come to my t um uh, to my tool right here that's the move to and then what i'm going to do right now i'm going to reduce the size i can do this by selecting it going to the text and reduce the size but i don't want to do that i want to do the size myself i want to reduce it in a custom way until i'm satisfied so what i'm going to do right now is to press down the shift key and then i take this to the edge 
of what I'm seeing here, the selection, then I begin to reduce it. Okay, I'm reducing it right now. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. If you're okay with it, you can just press enter. Now, once you press enter, the um, modification will be ascertained. Then I can now bring it to the middle. Let me drag it to the middle. All right, we can still see that it's too so much. I will still have to reduce it again. Okay, take it to the uh, right side again. Okay, I'm reducing the text right now. Okay, I think this should be okay. The enter key, and that should be it. Okay, so I've changed the name to Corridor Owen. So simple. You can see how many minutes time yeah this is taking me so much time because i want to show you into the but if you're doing it yourself it's something you can do within just um seconds now we're done with the name change now uh the next thing we're going to do right now is to go on and change the title now what is saying here is um sell more books on can do but we're, gonna, we're not going to be doing this we're going to change it to the name of the title that we want so i'm going to be changing the name but take note please we are done with the name here that's the change of name which is under auto so i'm going to click on this all right so i'm done with the auto the next thing to do is to go to the title clicking on the title right now we have about three sections you have the on can do you have sell more books and then you have discovered the best way so let me start with on can do first now i'm going to click with this on can do and i'm going to change it to cover remember what i told you the other time if you don't have the font on your system is going to change to the substitute font that you have on your system so i'm going to be clicking on this and immediately tell me antonio light is the font used i don't have it do i want it to change no problem you can change it all right so i'm going to select this font um yeah i'm going to change it to cover okay i'm creating my own title right now now as i've done before i'm going to extend this a bit um okay i'm dragging it a bit all right okay press enter or you come to this place and it will be certain so and drag it to the middle all right so instead of leaving it as so more books i wanted to say design awesome book covers oh yeah that's what i wanted to say design awesome book covers so what i'm going to do right now this so more book i'm going to change it i've selected it right now i'll come to my text to i'm going to select it of course it's going to change the problem uh, i'm going to select it i will change it to awesome book yeah awesome okay change it to awesome book yeah the idea is to say design awesome books book cover awesome book cover i'm going to select it i'm not okay with this font so let me look for another font right here um there's this font that i used to like you know I love using this font so much. Let me see if um, the font can do for me. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. All right, this is the font I'm talking about. But um, there are so many variations here. Okay, let me take a look at this. Good uh, bold. Okay, I'm just going to leave this th this way. All right, this is the font I'm talking about. No, you can just make use of any font you want. Um, you are not tied to what i'm using right now based on the folder you have in your system so i'm going to reduce it again remember you press down the shift key and then you drag from the edge if you drag it from the middle it's going to be floating over the uh, book cover but then we're going to be dragging from the edge just to reduce the size okay all right when that is acceptable to you bring it to the middle okay let me drag it again uh from the edge yeah okay there you go all right so the next thing i need to do now is to create another one here which is design so what i'm going to do right now because um i discovered that uh, i don't have one more um, text here to use at the design so what i'm going to do right now is to click on my text tool and then i click on the front cover of the book it's going to automatically create a layer for me here so what i'm going to type right now i'm going to type design okay so capital letter design okay and then um, i think i'm okay with this font and then i click on okay then here with my move to bring it down here now i don't like the the fact that this design here and the awesome here is having the same color so what i'm going to do right now is to look for the property of this that's the property that makes this text look so shiny apply it on this thing now that's very simple all you need to do is to come to this cover section 
which is this one here cover is this one so what I'm going to do right now is to right click on it now once I right click I see all these options so what I'm going to do is to copy layer styles because what makes this text this text look so shiny is because styles have been attached to it or have been applied to it so what I'm going to do is to copy the layer star right now which is what I'm trying to do now copy the layer star I'm okay with that it has been copied then I'll go to my design which is the text that I've just um, I put it right now and then I put on paste that's paste layer star take a look at what happened after that is done wow you can see that the layer style from the cover uh, text has been applied to the design so now this is a um, design awesome book cover now the next thing for me to change is this one which is discover the best discover the best way to maximize the profit or can do I'm gonna make it um design ebook cover in minutes okay there you have this is the text you have to select it first but you for you to be able to edit it so the next thing for me to do is to select my text to and I come right here oh my god that's not what I wanted to change okay I have to select it again selecting the text here so okay this is it no I know it's changing no problem about that so I'm going to leave it to change and then I'm going to type um design I'm going to make everything caps design awesome awesome book covers um, is it in minutes design awesome book covers in minutes uh, do I say design awesome book cover just copying and pasting okay design awesome book cover in minutes okay actually the idea is also copying and pasting anyway but let's just leave it that way okay so once this is applied I'm gonna extend it so that it can be seen very well all right okay now I can see that um, the text is almost extending to the graphics that we have here. So what I'm going to do is to move it up a bit. Okay. All right. It's too close. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to shift this text here, here, here. This uh, three text here. I'm going to shift it up so that it will be a space here. What you're going to do is very simple. Select the first text here. Press down your um, shift key. The select the second one. You can see as I'm making my selection, the selection has been shown. Select the first, uh, the third one, and then the fourth one. So once all the selections are made, pressing down your shift key and then right clicking, uh, sorry, pressing down your shift key and clicking on them, everything will be selected. So then you can now move it up. You see, everything is moving up. Good. All right. Perfect. That's what we're looking at. Now, in just about how many minutes we're able to design awesome ebook cover? Now, like I said, it takes me this time because I'm trying to show you step by step how you're going to get this covered. That's why. But if you're doing it yourself, take it just a little amount of time to do this. Now, if I'm going to scroll down here, I discover that there are some tiny little information here. I don't think I really need that. And I discovered that this is part of what we checked the other time, which is the first one, the subtitle. So I'm going to get them off. Okay, there we are. Um, I want to take a look at this. Remember, we checked off the uh, the dollar sign the other time. Let us just put it back and see how it looks. Oh my! Okay, the dollar sign is almost covering my design, but no problem. I can still adjust that as well. All I need to do is to click on the dollar sign. Oh, there are a lot of dollars, so I'm going to shift click. That means select everything. But instead of me to do one after the other, I'm going to select the first one. Yeah, select the first one, then bring it down press down my shift key then select the last one so that means all the dollars signed all this the, the dollar graphics have been selected already so what i'm going to do right here is to come and drag them up so that they don't cover my uh my design my name and all of that okay oh yeah okay good uh, i think it's okay right here okay i think i'm okay yeah it's okay if you want to remove it, you can remove it, but if you want to leave it like this, it's all yours. Now, we're done with the design. <laughs> so simple. Now, some of you will be wondering, oh my God, how could I have been able to do this within me? That's what you're seeing right now. So, it's something that you can do. You can twist whatever you want to do. If I want to remove the background, I can do that. You know, we have a lot of background here. This is um, 
uh, the book background with you, the book uh, object you can remove it if you wanna uh, the shadows you can remove it the texture you can put in any texture right now we have black here you can change the black to any color that you wanna change it to let me see if i'm gonna change this to i'm, I'm gonna double click on this let me see if i'm gonna change this to uh see a green color is giving us another variety uh let me see if i'm gonna change this to um red wow this is wholesome pink is looking just so beautiful oh my god blue uh green come on this is just so beautiful you can see how you can change the whole design with just um um change it the whole background so i'm gonna leave it this way i think it's awesome let me just leave it the way it is just to make it a little bit of simple um for you guys so we, we're going to be leaving it the way it is and then um, it still look awesome so guys just within some few minutes you can design awesome book cover like this like i told you if you need this, uh the, the templates i have a lot of templates uh if the templates are about about one gig plus if you know them let me know like i told you the price initially just eat me up and then you get this template delivered to you in 24 hours thank you very much for watching and i hope you learned one or two things god bless you i remain corridor lawain on facebook my name is corridor lawain inbox me if you have any question or inquiries to make thank you